This is the crisis actor, possibly from Sweden, in a white underwear, paying her respects at the deserted beach, which has been turned into a shrine. The fact that it's Ramadan and she's not wearing any clothing, it, it, it doesn't say much for her understanding of local culture. Although you might be able to get, although you can generally get away with bikinis at the beach in most Arab countries, including indeed Syria, at least uh, until they overthrow Assad, if they if they can succeed in doing that. Muslims are a lot more open-minded than people give them credit for. But we don't like moderate secular Arab regimes. We only want the fanatics in charge. If you can see uh, hotels in Damascus, uh, Christians and Muslims, secular people, are at the swimming pool wearing the sort of clothes that we'd be wearing when we go to the beach. Only difference is they tend to be better looking than we are. It's pretty shocking to see how fat and ugly the average British person is. I was disgusted, not so much by the brutality of this faked event, but by looking at the flabby bodies of my compatriots. Unless English women can become better looking, I think our race might die out. But the point is, this woman here is not going to... is, is, is an actress. Uh, this is a crime scene. She's not dressed appropriately for paying her respects to a large number of people who've died. And this is a picture of police. And this is after the event. Do these people look unhappy to you? These people don't look unhappy. They're posing for a hammy picture. There are so many things wrong with this whole story that I can't really begin to to to, to deal with it. But to give you an example, um, it says here the couple returned to the beach the following day. Gemma told of her horror at finding sunbeds riddled with bullet holes and covered in blood. Jesus, this guy must have had. This must be the most amazing AK-47 in human history because. It, can, it seems to have, you know, thousands of bullets in it, even though it's just got a, a 30 a cartridge. I mean, I don't know where these bullets come from. It's riddled with bullet holes. I'd say riddled with bullet holes. It's like hundreds of bullets, right? She said, they told us they were just cigarette burns, but they were everywhere. You could see that they tried to clean the blood off the beds. Do you honestly think that the police have got better things to do? Listen, if loungers have got bullet holes through them, right, then they're not going to be used in future. You know, you can't have a hotel where the bullet holes are still in them from the massacre that occurred. You know, you're, you're going to bin the, the, bin the loungers and, and buy new ones. You're not going to try and clean them off. And the idea that, you know, the hotel staff are going to say, no, no, these bullet holes full of, with blood everywhere is just cigarette burns. I think most people could put two and two together. This is all a hammy story, okay? It's all scripted. Everything here is scripted story. And, but as I said, the government have established, and it's beyond doubt now, that people don't believe things because they're true. They believe things because they've been trained, was it neuro-linguistics or something? They've been trained to believe things. The vast majority of people are so hypnotized by the television get it? Tell lie vision and by the dulcet tones of the Jane Stanleys and Peter Richard Suchet's of this world people who are paid lots of money to lie and they are liars that they simply can't put two and two together if you you should always approach all these issues with a very sceptical inquiring mind this is a safeguard against being defrauded this is not a no-lose scenario. Just because Muslims are being um, framed at the moment doesn't mean they can't turn around and frame you. It's already starting to happen in the UK, uh, in, in America. White people have been framed for things they didn't do, and black people have also been framed for things that they didn't do. It's part of a race-baiting exercise. The government wants chaos. They want people to be fragmented and to fight amongst themselves. A lot of people don't realise that if you support the frame-up of Muslims, you are ultimately supporting the frame-up of yourself. None of us should ever accept frame-ups on anyone, even communities that we don't like. Okay, And the reason you don't like Muslims is because they've been invited here over our, without our permission by our own government. Right? These people could never live here unless our government let them in and allowed them in. They've been allowed to live amongst us, 
and simultaneously the same media that works with them keeps telling us that they're all murdering terrorists and paedophiles. Think about it. Now look at this picture here. Does this look like a picture of four people who are traumatized by having to deal with dozens of dead and injured? Well, I say not. Do you disagree with me?